that's commitment. I've been there. I've done that. Yep, I feel you. All right. Um. Chew, are you here? Yeah, what's up? Um. How many so sculpted you're in, in the raid, right? Are you online? Can someone invite Talar to the main raid? Okay. So hard you get in? Yep, I'm here. I'll be right back a minute, just need to close the door. I'll be right back a minute, just need to close the door. I'll be right back a minute, just need to close the door. I'll be right back a minute. Yep, I... Um, Chewie, you can probably take... Oh, did you already get out of there? I'm not I'm not in the raid if that's what you're asking. Okay. So then the last spot is Keish. Uh well if Chewie's not in the raid. Well Chewie's in the, raid, in the on, raid on Yoda, just not on the cat. The chicken, that's the animal I was trying to think of. Then yeah. Right? Chewie, you're in here on Yoda, right? Yeah he is. Yeah, he is. Okay. Alright, then everybody jump down. If all we're missing is, is keys, we can get everybody prepped and ready. Fuck bitches, get money. Let's do this. They were rude to me. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hey, Sab. Hey. Long time no see. You come here often? So uh, the only person I think we're missing is um, Keish, and he messaged me saying that he's having internet issues and he's going to a different house. So uh, he said he'll expect to be on in, you know, 15 minutes or so, but we can get going. Um, before we log in, I just want to remind everybody to check out the loot discussion channel if you don't usually because we posted how this loot is going to work. Um, I want everyone to be aware. So just to make this explicitly clear, the goal of us handing out loot in the way we're doing it is to make sure that it can be utilized as quickly as possible. So in certain cases, if people have more rep than somebody else, they're going to get that item first as a result, just like we did with AQ20, because they can use that item first. A lot of these items will continue to drop, uh, just like they've dropped before, but we want to make sure that the people who get them can put them to use as fast as humanly possible. So don't be surprised if when we're handing out loot, we're asking questions about rep, because that's one of the things we're trying to do. Now, the reason that's not ultimately going to matter is because you get a lot of rep in here. So that's really just a thing that's going to matter for the first you know, week, maybe two weeks. And after that, it won't matter at all. So I want everybody to just keep that in mind. Um, that said, when loot goes out, it's going out to people who uh, are going to take the GP for it as well. So that affects prios at the same time. Um, with that said, uh, those of you who were here Sunday, 
understand what we're up against. Those of you who couldn't make it, um, we got some fun in store. Um, we're we're going to do our best to kind of uh, make the make use of the information that we got before and kind of learn on the fly. I want to point everybody to the document that uh, a bunch of leadership, sculpted and um, city and Ed and a few others have pointed to and basically worked on a lot on to try to get strategies outlined and explained. There's going to be a little bit of just kind of uh, specific discussion on certain points as we go, because we only got one experience with some of the stuff last time. The one other thing that I need to state, and I want this to be absolutely crystal, is a lot of the stuff in here, a lot of the stuff in here requires everyone who's nearby to be paying attention. If for any reason you have to go AFK, if for any reason you have to go take your parrot out of the oven, put out a fire in your shoes, whatever you got to do, get the fuck away from the raid. Do not put anybody on follow. Do not try, try to like keep up and not pay attention. Like move yourself out to the side where you're not anywhere nearby because you can literally wipe, wipe the raid if you're not there and paying attention. Um, that said, do your best to try to pay attention as, as well as you can. I also want to stress that if you if you need to stop a cast, stop an attack, do whatever to, to work with the mechanics, you need to do that. It's incredibly important that everybody pays attention and focuses on the success of the raid and killing everything as efficiently as possible over maintaining your rotation, over maintaining uh, your your damage, anything. Like success of the raid is is based on the back of everyone paying attention. So, yeah. With that said, um, let's all log in and, and get this thing going. Where's the um, doc guide at? Sorry. Up, uh, are you talking about the loot or the? No, no you said it was like a. I, I've looked over the loot one. But <laughs> I just read in general discussion. Yo, yeah, if warriors need rage pots or casters need elixir, uh, arcane elixirs, healers need mana pots, open trade with chokehold. Also got some nature resistant potions if you need them too. Hey, Choke, you got anything for this itch under my armor, bro? Bro, I do. Put some baby powder on it. Sounds like good advice. I've been, like, seeing these YouTube commercials where we don't use baby powder anymore and we're supposed to get this, like, Manscaped razor or something that won't hurt your kiwis? I ain't seen that, dude. That's some Canadian shit. Hey, Ray, there. I'm too here. left, you're too right, I get it, bro. We can meet in the middle, though. Can yeah. I have a stack of candles? I I only have, like, sure can. 10 left. I forgot to buy some. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're waiting on uh, Zayron and Erebix to get online. Log it in now. Cool. I hope you all remembered your NR gear and your frost weapons. Ah, shit. Wait, are we trying Visidius tonight? Or if we get far enough, we might, but he's my last last thing we do. Like that, like after Cthulhu, right? No joke, I really don't have my NR gear. So, basically, double the golds that have... Or twice as many golds have beaten Cthulhu than Visk. <laughs> Alright, if you actually don't have your NR gear, what's the best way to get to a bank for you? Can, we, can we um i would say not do it now can we log out there's just gonna be a bunch of people outside and it's gonna be hard to yeah it's all alliance right now if you come out right now let's, let's let's get if we get that far we'll worry about then i thought Audi you were a mage, a mage hit that for all right um Lucy, you want to log over real quick? Let's just get a summon out. You got a summon out on Keish? Yeah, Keish is back, which is part of why. Uh, I'm logging for bus. Same. Yeah, if you need to log for bus, log for bus. This is a good, good uh, learning experience, everybody. So, um, 
make sure that we the lesson prep for next week. The lesson is make sure you're prepped for next week. I'm in macro. Hey, Sabata, how are you on? I thought you had no power. I am not. Everyone seems to think I was at my lake house. I'm going to be at my lake house starting tomorrow morning. I drove to the Cape to see family yesterday, so I'm back at my house tonight, and then I'm driving two more hours later. No, I want a lake house. What the hell? Arm, you're going to have to leave and join Lucy's group and get someone that way. Keish, you too, if you haven't been already. I also would like a lake house. A lot of request on the guild request app. I'll get right on that. You just got fucking debuffed by a priest in Storm. Are you shitting me? That's wild. Uh, do you have a clicker out here? That is just so annoying. Oh my god. Do you guys, uh. Good job, Keish. I can log over and click real quick. I just lost my DM. Would you log in Stormwind? Yeah. That's why I always go to Old Town. Go to Old Town Road? Sculpt your lead. When should we log back in? I'll call it. Keish, make sure you leave this group and get into the right group. Didn't do that. Is there anyone else? I think that's it. Invite me to another group. All right, you can log in. Yep, we're back. One other thing I want to point out here is uh, for all DPS, watch your health, grab health stones if you need them, anything you can do, because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on tonight. Yeah, I'll get the first soul stone. I think we already have one go up. Do we? If you use them, call them out so we don't stack them, guys. Need to split the cooldowns. Yeah, there's one on Hesp. All right. Uh, reminder, for these obsidian eradicators, you need to drain their mana. Anyone who can drain their mana needs to drain their mana. Everyone else needs to kill them as fast as possible, okay? Yes, boss. Three viper things on the whatevers. Every hunter needs to put a viper sting on him. I thought we established it doesn't stack. Is that not right? I don't remember here. It did not in 20. I don't know if we've tried it here. It's not going to stack. Okay, never mind. I'll get it then. Yes, that's what they're saying in chat. Viper does not stack. Got it. Thanks. All right, we ready? Pull. Let's get All right, it. Let, it, let it go fun. back then. I didn't have fucking Aww. arrows equipped. That was bullshit. Aww. All right, we're going to get it this next go around. These aren't the Shadow Boys, right? I need some pump music. They can do Shadow, but a Shadow Volley. Okay, so just give me a second. We're going to get some Shadow Prots up. 
or the obsidian eradicators don't the next pack. I'm pulling. Endo, you're tanking. All right, these next four, I'm going to put marks on. I need everybody to pay attention and go after them in order. If I need you to switch off a skull, I need you to switch off a skull, okay? So for uh, Detect Magic, I have uh, myself on Star, and the Strobos on Square, Zork on Moo, and then Bavis on Skull. So like stage close to the tanks, and I uh, try to put Detect Magic on as soon as possible. All right, uh, we're going to have Hendo on Skull. I'm going to take Moon, Keesh on Square, and Sculpted on Star. Actually, Lashlin on Star. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we... Square is Shadow Storm. Moon is Mortal Strike. Skull is Knockaway. Tanks, get you back to a wall. Kill Skull first. Square is reflecting my detect magic. The moon next. Uh, admits it's arcane. Yep. Kill Square next. Square is fire arcane, so like, use frost. Well. Remember, we're not a. Uh, we got a green crystal here. We have a blue mount. We are rolling. Oh, we got two mounts. Blue mount. So we have a mount. before we do rolls on this, I want to give them to main tanks first, and then a couple of healers, so we can do pulls more easy. I want the green one. Yo, let me save out for a yellow one, bro. Tanks, go ahead and roll them. All right, let's grab this eradicator on the next pat. Get re get ready. Oh, it's here. All right. Be ready now. Nice job on the mana burns, too. Yeah, it's only worry about curses. Just save uh, debuff spots for mana burns and stuff. Pull it back a little bit. Got another green. Healer's roll. Grants to Ray. Remember, if you don't get, uh, if you don't get a mount, or if you do get a mount, you can still trade it for another color when everyone's got one. All right, same marks as before. Remember, pull them back when we tank them. Let's go. He means once everyone has 40 and more. Stars. Score is Shadow Frost Reflect. X is Shadow Storm. And the Skull is Fire King. Kill Square Take next. Don't kill X. And don't kill us first. Yeah, kill Square next. Stay and close to that. Flash, oh, bring yours closer to the stairs. Kill, uh, kill Star next. Flash is down. I'm still seeing people getting hit by Shadow Volleys. Everybody get in range of the X. Everybody close. If you're not within 15 yards of X, you're doing it wrong. 
You don't you don't wait to move. Maybe yellow. Oh yeah, Hendo. Hendo, you wanted the yellow? Two tanks already got it. Let's give it to a healer. Oh Hendo's the main tank. He, he didn't roll in the first ah, one. Main tank. The tank. Casper's agree. Okay, so um, for everybody who wasn't here the other day, this dude's going to split into three at 75, 50, and 25%. And he's going to have one on his, well, they could appear on either his left or his right, or both on one side or the other. And if no one's within melee range of him or his copies, he starts earth shocking people to death. Like basically one shotting. And with as fast as we killed him last night, I think we ought to just have two possible tanks posted up on left and right sides just at all times. So um the arcane explosions need to be kicked or otherwise interrupted as they go off. Um and then Sabata or excuse me, Hendo and uh Lashlin will stay in the middle. Keish and I will go uh, to the left, and then, or excuse me, I got that mixed up. Hendo and Baby Yoda will stay in the middle. Keish and I will go left. Sabata and Lashlin will stand on the right side. <clears throat> Healers and range will be along the uh, top banister spread out. And then melee just in the middle as uh, as needed. Melee DPS group uh, two go to the left. Group three stay center. Group four go to the right. When the splits happen, and lock same uh, curse of tongue targets as Sunday night. I'll go right. Chow's got middle, and Black Sage you got left. Um, one other thing, mages, please be aware. Someone's going to get mind controlled when they do. They are very big and very dangerous. They need to be sheeped immediately. If you get mind controlled, call out who you are and say you're mind controlled. City, there's still something on one of these guys. Uh, probably actually don't. If you're mind controlled, you don't have to say that you're mind controlled, it would be very obvious. Fair enough, they get real big, <laughs> really fucking big. <laughs> uh, all right, the, the copies have to the copies have to die before we push him into summoning more copies. And he, if the less than a half a million health, so it's easy if, to push him. If the one that you're targeting does not immediately start to drop in health very quickly, then you're on the wrong one. The copies have 10% of his current health, I believe. Yeah. Is it odds left, even right? I mean, where, where you are is determined by your role. It, it doesn't range, matter what yeah. side you go on if you're ranged. Just running up the ramp for the initial. Yeah, odds left, even right. You ready? Yep, let's go. Let's see Sunders. Gotta interrupt that. Here come the images. The current MC. Another image on the other platform. More images. All right, getting back to mid. Getting back to mid. Get a spell on left side, please. Images in a few seconds. Interrupt. Oh, loose. There's the images. The real ones on left side. Tell her, Michael.
Everybody make sure you loot him. Everybody make sure you loot him. Breastplate of Annihilation. Nice. Damn. Is that better than the BRD Arena chest play? Yeah. Well, there you go. No more runs to BRD if whoever gets it. The BRD Arena chest? Like, we don't all know what it is. All right, we're going to start with that breastplate of annihilation. Remember, don't turn your rep in unless you're uh, so above neutral. For those who don't know, everyone's going to loot one of these insignias. You can turn them in at this guy over here for rep. Do not do so until you have already reached the maximum amount of rep. So our minor means you only bid a minor on the thing, but you get 20% GP from it, but major trumps you. So you might have bids minor with a higher prior wins it. You get 20% of the GP for the item. Thank you. All right, guys. So we got a tie here for uh, some major rolls. Um, Gertrude and Lash, go ahead and roll. Gert, slash roll. Great slash. Good. So the on this trash, uh, we killed the brainwashers first. They mind control and mana burn. Uh, next is Vecnus Guardians. They just do a frontal knockback. And then Vecnus Warriors. The warriors are tank and spank, but they summon adds on death, and we can AoE these AoE them down. Uh, we want to we don't want to kill the warriors all at the same. We want to like kill one, then it's abs, and then kill the next. One. If we can, man. We're not that is half across your profits. Staff is up for bid. All right. We're gonna pull kill kill skull first. Whatever you do, I'll take square. Keys, you get X. Let's go. Can Lash get a baby self? He's gonna need it after that chest piece. Remember, Keys, keep your back to a wall. I know my control. Is that dispellable? Get away from I can't dispel it. Okay, same. It also doesn't show up as being dispellable, so... Right, I was just seeing if anybody tried. saw something different. Hey, there is a two-handed axe on this dude. Okay, oh, so that we have a bunch drain? of off-spec rolls for the staff. If we can have Chow, Choke, Zork, Eerie, Ray, and Arm, please roll. I would pass to anybody that really wants it. I just see everybody off-spec rolled. Congrats yeah, to it. Zork. What's up? No, that's a grass to Zork. Let's keep moving down this hallway. There's a bunch of loot down here, city, when There's you get down to go. Yeah, I had to wait for the uh this loot. I'm away. Do you have Don't a mount go. yet, city? No. Don't go uh, past here yet. City should probably get one. That's what I'm thinking. Like if we, if he's loot mastering, he should probably get the next mount. Hey. There's yeah, one on uh, the warrior right down the hallway. Just take it, city. I mean Hindo. This was going to you unless you don't want to. Uh, wait, wait, I, just, I want a yellow, bro. Back I'll up. wait for a yellow. Stop. Stop. Come back. We all down here? Okay. I mean, everybody except for City. Shift the edge. Um, well, Ford's out of range as well. You good, Ford? This is the same pack we just killed, except with one more ad. Wait for the pet. No, no, yeah, wait. Okay, so we want to kill one warrior, then his adds that he summons. Oh, my bad. And I'm, I'm grabbing the unmarked. Sorry about that. Kill the adds. Kill, kill, kill the adds. adds. X next.
kill the ads. The last one died too quick, guys. Cool. You said there was a two-hand axe somewhere? Yeah, on the same group of mobs that that crystal was on. Uh, we already pulled the game incoming. Yeah, this is why. Yeah. These guys have a big aggro radius, so don't go running ahead. I've got Kill the skull. One. Remember to keep your back to a wall. These ones charge the place the last one died, so when it gets low on health, back up. Keep your back to a wall when you're fighting them. You find it up there, City? Yeah, I'm waiting for you guys to finish. We're ready. Uh, all right, Narita's. So is that a pure off spec roll? That's a pure off spec. I'm told that it scales with spell power based on the research I did. So that's the only people that probably want that are going to be ret pallies. If you want to you spend know, for GP off spec. on it, if anybody wants to spend GP on it, fuck it, spend GP. I mean, yeah, they can roll what they want for it, but we have uh, three off spec rolls. Abrath, Hess, and Armor. I'm not going to roll on it. I didn't mean to click that. Cat, okay. if you want to... Cat, if you want to open this coffer and then... Uh, if somebody wants to loot them, even if you want to loot them and just trade them, you gotta have the space though. I'll have the space. All right, just open it, and then uh, city. When you get down here, there's an open coffer. Okay. Flash, you got one on this pack. All right, go ahead and uh, shoot them and bring them into this hallway. Remember, keep your back to a wall from the guardians. My God. If you got punted, your back wasn't to a wall. I think there's another pack to the right. There's another map. Yep, everybody back up. Everybody back up. We have a green crystal. Just roll it out. Lash, there's a fifth one on this one too, but I can't. Click on it for I'll find it. To save my, I can't click on it to save my life. Report. Grats to Abra. Yep. Wash. X is free. And they'll probably shoot. Thank you. Can't find X. All right. Tanks stack on me. Keep one of them in the middle there. Stack the other ones here. Everybody keep your back to that hallway wall. What's their target after X? Probably AOE, the Where Guardian. After X is square, if it. Um... On, at times when it matters. Okay, it just seems like everyone's attacking their own one after that. That's why I was wondering. Yeah, right, right there, it didn't really matter. That was the last one before the boss, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. Could Lash get salve again, please? Do we want to try and kill Yaoj first this time? I think that's probably a good play. Don't touch 
sure? Because it's gonna fear the horror, isn't it? Yes. Well, if we kill her first, it shouldn't. We need fear wards up on as many people as possible. You can get like, out of. You have to kill her real fast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fear so wards don't work. It'll work long enough to give somebody threat, though. We're gonna need to do dispels. Like healers do not want to get close. The like, fear wards do work on this. It, it, that's what we thought. I thought we'd got that last. It one. works, but she fears too fast. Is what he's saying. Like it'll yeah, get consumed, yeah. and then you'll get feared again. Oh, just the initial. You need to ward off the initial fear. So yeah, we got. On, I was gonna say we got two minutes on slow stone. I'm on slow stone ready. So on this boss, um, Hendo's gonna have Lord Cree. Tish is gonna get uh, Yao's first, and then uh, I'll be the backup taunter on uh, on Yao's whenever Tish is feared, or I'll try my best to be. And then Sabata will have them. We're gonna tank them. Um, separate as best as we can uh lord kree hendo's target has a frontal cleave and puts a dispellable dot on anyone within 30 yards and then after he dies he uh, summons a big poison cloud uh yao's just fears constantly um and you cannot berserker rage out of it yeah you can yes you can you could death wish out of it you can yeah, you can berserker out of it Okay. Yeah, we found that out last time. Um, she does a great heal, which will need to be interrupted, and then Vim does a uh, a two second stun, and will occasionally charge someone within uh, ten yards. So we're gonna kill Yao, then Kree, then Vim. Do we want to lay on hands anybody for the extra armor? Ping, where you're gonna tank them? No, you should just. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna do my best to tank uh, them, like over in that little corner there. And um, the problem with him is he will just pick somebody at random and charge them. So if they're too far away, I need whoever he charges needs to be aware that they just got charged and try to run him to me. Or if a warrior is nearby and can taunt him and bring him back to me, I'll try and make it to him as fast as I can. But he's a pain in the ass. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was I'm gonna tank on the left side as deep as I can. Yeah, I would. You see the cubby that that Yauj is in right now. I would try to get her one cubby over. Yep. Exactly. We good? Wouldn't hard to use a baby in our pot here either. If we're gonna try to bring him back to you, would it uh, maybe help things to put like a mark on you? Just because there's a lot yeah, of stuff going call. on. I'm star. You got me on X, right, still? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, just be careful. He's going to hit you like a truck. Yeah, I got my shield on. All right. Just waiting on... All right, everybody's ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Watch the cleave, watch the cleave. The thunder's up. Way to get the blue in a little bit farther so I can actually see Sab and not be standing on her. Yeah, I don't have Sab right now. Working on it. I don't either. I got peered into the far corner. Okay, on to X. On to X. Yo, he killed a little dude. Rude. Little little dudes. Hey, we gotta get these off the healers, guys. Kill the little dudes. Don't stand in front of X. Don't stand where he dies either. All right, we gotta get square out of the middle. I'm trying, he won't move. Yep. All 
All right, everybody should probably just move in. Yeah, everybody get right next to him. Okie dokie. Make sure you loot your thing off of him. All right, we're going to do Angel Leaf's this touch first. Um, can I get not, can I not get hot on me? I just lost two buffs. Right. Who said that? This is Baby Yoda. Got to work on that cancel. Uh, Gratz on... Oh. Okay, can we have a Sab sneak and bolt a roll? I do really? have, but I usually don't have this many buffs. I just got like inspiration and like three hots on me. Sneak past and uh, bolt. Sorry, okay, dude. Okay, grass Sab. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to give somebody something then. I guess I can wear that for twin imps, but really that's it. Do you have Where... backspace? Plenty of space? I will if I can find somebody. Cole has plenty right here. What? I don't have. Okay. It is only the last bug that. Alright, Angelis to the charm, healing neck. No, the insignias did not disappear in it. There's an insignia on each boss. I think it's one per boss. You'll get three from that room, just get one. Alright, yeah, congrats to uh, Coleman. Major roll. Alright, don't go too far forward now. We can, uh, we can scoot up to here. These are all guardians. So what, what I want everybody to do here is the one that's going to be tanked, the one that's going to be the kill target, is the one that's going to be uh, right here, okay? And then all the other ones I want to be tanked over here against this wall. And what will happen is when one dies, all of the other ones will charge over here, and it'll knock people into this wall, and it won't kill them. So if you're melee, you should keep your back to this wall, or keep your, I guess if you're attacking it from the back, you can stand here. Just be between the other pack and this one. Why don't you just stack all the melee on star and then have them all, like, facing the guardians instead of behind them? I mean, you can do that. Just can't backstab, but whatever. As long as you're getting charged into the wall, it's all that matters. All right. That's going to be the first kill target. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Everybody stay back. He'll bring them back. If you get one on you, bring it to me. All right, hands up. Diamond next, diamond next, diamond next. Circle. Why are people killing the ones that are not? Whatever. A triangle is lowest, but I want circle dead first. They wait for like a split second before they shoot you. Alrighty. Wait a sec. This is this is the okay. All right, this is all right. It's the next hallway, though. I think. Yeah, people need to like really, really. Watch out! They're coming to you. Scope, 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 scope. Incoming. 
Just pull them back in the same cubby. These are warriors. These are going to spawn little ads. So, so we need to kill these one at a time. So just Skull, then his uh, summoned ads, and then we move on. I just DC'd. I'll be right back. X next. Then the ads. Ads. There's an idol here. All right, same plan as before, only difference is we're going to, let me find a good spot here. Yeah, tank the one to kill here, okay? Right here. And everybody else, just make sure that you're between this one and the ones that I'm tanking behind us, all right? If you're a healer, you don't have to be between them. It's only DPS that are gonna probably be there. But you can, as long as you stay far away from those two spots, you'll be fine. All right, Endo, come back here for a second. Stand like right here. Keish, I want you to fairy fire one of them and bring them to right here and then pull them straight back into the center of the room and Hendo will grab one. No, okay? don't do that. He's a hunter. Okay. He's just if Ar Arzog, if you want to grab... I mean, I was just... Y'all were pulling, so I wasn't going to interrupt you. Like, I don't know why we always default to, like, baseball and fairy fire. I mean, plans are good, but... You guys know you can avoid that, right? You get out before they die, you won't be kicked. You can get out after they die, after they charge. So, square? or ap okay. Don't I'm kill gonna... triangle. Do not kill triangle. Kill the skull. Current kill target? Square. Whichever one's closest to a wall. Mm, okay. You know, we need more decisive and like quicker calls on this stuff because we're we don't know what to attack. Yeah, like we're getting angry at DPS. I'm not a DPS. I'm a fucking healer over here, but I I didn't know what the kill order there was. I mean, I asked a second ago and it was it was square, so. A quarter of us were on square, the rest of everybody else was all over the place. We just, like, right before something dies, we need just somebody to call something. It, okay, so if the kill spot's there, the next, someone should just drag one to the kill spot. Then you know what one to kill. That'll work. So, like, I killed mine, and then it was just, what I grabbed another one, and I moved another one there, and it got marked skull, right? So if other tanks just move it there once they, you know, one dies, oh, it should work. We're doing good, guys. Little improvements. Baby steps. Yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to help. All right, everybody see this wall right here? You stay back up here. You should get kicked right back up here and slide right back down. Didn't we do this last time and I ended up, like, really messing up? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Range shouldn't be over there. Well, range should never be stacked with everybody who's trying to not get kicked. But yeah, if you range want to stack over on the other side, if we want to, do we want to try to AOE him down? Because that's what I'm having a bunch of people tell me we can try to do and give it a shot. They won't be all over the place that way. The minute, the second that one of them comes what? out of the pile, though, it's fucked. Treat them like core hounds and uh, try to kill them all at the same time? Yeah, they just get out at like 15%. You don't need to parse on trash. All right, let's try it then. Just to say we tried it. All right, Arzok, grab them and bring them back to here. Everybody who's what? Healy in the corner first. Still got a lot of people in the hallway. 
Everybody over here. All the melee over here. Heels are range. good across, yeah? In range? Yeah, heels, okay. heels in range should always be outside the pile. Yeah, RP walking. Bring him back, bring him back. If we, if we're, if the strats to kill them all at the same time, um, we have to X is make free. sure that we don't burn one down. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hey, don't go down the hallway. Don't, don't go through that door. So if we're going to do the AOE strat, um, if one's getting low, you have to get off of it. So, just for the record, I was square in that corner and got punted way over here. Yeah. It's not the best corner, but it kind of is what it is. If we're going to AoE as well, like... Melee needs to get after one dies. Like, it's a delay after it dies, but all of them are going to impale. And if we get multiple bleeds on you and, and fall damage, you're going to die. Got an idol of death back there. Was there any more trash between here and Sartor? No. no. Stuff on the left, but we can skip it. Uh, so on Sartura, um, we're going to kill the three adds before Sartura and they'll be marked accordingly. It'll be me and Hendo on the first one, Chewy and Lash on X, uh, Fordron and Talar on Square, and then Keish and Sabata on the boss. Um, what was it? She's going to Frenzy at 20%. She's going to Whirlwind as well. She can't be stunned during the Whirlwind. But between uses of Whirlwind, she can be done. So we want to chain stun her so she cannot ever get back into the Whirlwind. But we have to be really coordinated. So, like, we need good, quick callouts on who's going to get the next stun. We're going to have uh, our three sword rogues just... Uh chain five point kidneys on it we'll have um a cool zeron and then zat you won't be able to obviously keep her from four one completely because of diminishing returns but but oh. it does uh Whoa. reduce the amount of time sculpted what the hell did you do throw your phone to a wood chipper oh sorry i thought i muted myself my bad <laughs> That was the most gangster sneeze I've ever heard in my life. I about lost my fucking ears. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I blew it into the mic. I thought he was just trying to fuck with us. He, he, blew it he was the just mic. trying to get us loose, like Hess said. All, All right, right, focus up. So those quests and whirlwinds are nasty, man. Yeah, you got to run. If, if you are a tank who your ad has died, get close to Sartura, and if she starts to whirlwind, taunt her and run in the other direction from the raid. It'll buy us a few seconds. We so get it. Be, try, we should just is, try to like chain taunt. So the order is uh, skull X square. The first ones on each one of those is Hendo, Chewy, Fordron, and then it, whenever Hendo, whenever it drops uh, from whenever it drops off of Hendo, Chewy, or Fordron, then the other tank will taunt it. Then. Rose, call out your kidney shots. I said square and like. Nope. All right. We ready to go? 
Um, as soon as we get a more straight up tanking set right now, right? Uh, yeah. DPS is a second priority on this, pretty much for everybody. Okay, there we go. Okay, did that wrong go. Sculpt, squares, triangle. My bad. Y'all know what I meant. Oh no. Someone taunt skull. Never mind, I'm up here. Where is your triangle? It's square. My bad. Okay, on to X, on to X. Alright, Rose, get that sunlight going. Hawk, blackout. Square. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? And another. Keep talking. Zero, I'm gonna start. In order that. When she gets out of whirlwind, please do a pally stun. Zaren, you got the first stun. Oh, cool, you got next. I just use my Out. We out, everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Tom Keish. Have a pally stun, please. Have gonna have world. to wait till she stops. 10 seconds on my. I got first rogue stun. Yeah, I got 20 on mine. When you whirlwinds warrior, stay in a taunt if you can. Taunt and run the other way. Just keep her away from everyone else. Don't stay in during the whirlwind. Scorch. I'll intercept then. I intercept doesn't stun, so. Uh. Oh, buddy. Intercept does stun. It doesn't yeah. stun her in Whirlwind, though. No, that's why when she gets out of it, so I get the initial stun. Nice job, guys. We're going to do a Creeping Vine Helm. Got two minor rolls, so based on PR, grats to Avarith. Yeah, lip is the pot to fight. Oh, wait, what? Lip is the pot to pop. Yeah, save uh, my life. Shadow res or sorry, nature resist boots. Are these going to be um to soakers? Shall we have all soakers roll? What are they? Oh, the recomposed? Yeah, those are soaker boots primarily. Uh, OS yeah, for NR, OS, yeah. OS for NR. I guess get up here and get stacked up. So, I mean, you know, Sab, Gertrude, Ray City, Sneak Ball, the Lash, Sculptor, Roll. Hi, oh. I pass. You hunters good to roll? Your soakers. Yeah, soakers. Keeps let me know that he's running back to his house. He should be back in less than 10 minutes. Congrats, dude. Okay, through. so uh, this hallway is like the suppression room, but way less intense, but it is a little longer. Uh, the little brown bugs uh, aren't really a big deal, so we just AoE tank them and keep moving. And then every time we come to a big Vecna soldier, we're going to stop, kill it, and the drones that we have, and then quickly keep moving. We're not going to kill the drones until we, until we, kill, until we stop to kill uh, one of the big blue dudes. So if like any of them are taking much damage, like we know someone's fucking up. And like, it, it actually respawns really quick in here. The... Suppression room doesn't spawn very quick at all. This one actually spawn responds. 
Yeah, they might get up here and stack on circle. Like we need to be. Who's our... so We need to stay really, really stacked in. Like everybody, even even hunters, healers. Hendo's gonna uh, try and grab. He's he's gonna AOE tank the uh, the drones as we go down the hall, and Sabata can grab the soldier as we come up to it. Do not, do not AOE until we call for it. Okay, or you'll die. Because we're not gonna stop for you. Stupid thing off the boss. Sorry. Yeah, last chance to grab a thing off the boss if you missed it. We all need to loot it if you all didn't, because it drops the item. Okay, we're gonna move out together. If you're on a mount, make sure you don't go too fast. Follow circle. Yeah, just stay on top of the window. Hug the left and wall, everybody. Hug to the left. There's doors on the right side with extra packs that we don't want to pull. Kill the skull. Who's AoE? I don't know, but they shouldn't be. Same person it always is. Until that On soldier wall. dies, no one should AoE. After the soldier dies, then you AoE. It looks like she's at DC. He's like running in place back there. Oh. Everybody when we get up He's here. SOL. Yeah, he just DM'd me. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. In summit. Yeah, there's no stopping. If you die or DC, we leave you behind. Hey, wait, wait for Hendo, wait for Hendo. Let Hendo lead. Kill that. We wait. wait. Alright, AoE now. Get him down. down. Alright, go. Stay very, the left. very much. On the time. left. That skull is your target. Group up. Now AoE. Alright, keep moving. There's a little cubby up here on the left before Fancris that we're gonna uh, pile up in. Kill Skull. Now AoE. Yeah, see there. Keep moving. Keep moving. On we got respawns behind. Keep moving. All right, stop for a second. Just AoE these down so Hendon can get back in front. All right, follow Hendo. Kill the skull. Now AoE. Okay, keep moving. Let Hendo get ahead. Hendo's dazed. I'm skulls, my, skulls incoming. I'm shield on too. Kill the skull. AoE. Alright, we're almost there. Keep it up. We're gonna AoE this pile down right where they're at, so bring them in close here, and then AoE them, and then we're gonna go up to the safe spot. Everybody on skull now. Hug the left wall here. Up in this tight in this corner, tight tight in this corner. This is your safe spot. If you stay too far down that path, you'll aggro them when they respawn. Okay, so Bankrus is the easiest boss in here for the most part. He puts a, a ten percent healing debuff that stacks on the tank and is undispellable. Um, occasionally, ads are going to come from 
uh, one of the holes in the wall, and we need to get those little ads down. When that happens, it's also going to pull a random player into that cubby. They're going to be entangled and take a bunch of damage um, pretty quickly. So healers got to be paying attention to that. And then he'll also occasionally summon one to three uh, big worms, and they will enrage in 15 seconds and start one-shotting. So the big worms are the biggest priority, then the little worms, and then Chris. Can Keish get a song when he gets back on? Logging back on now. Yep. I got you, buddy. So I Hendo, don't remember if this is tauntable. It is tauntable. Hendo, you're going to go in, and uh, when you have, like, four stacks, call it out, and I'll take it. And as long as you're not tanking, your job is just to make sure we keep everything off the healers. Guys, please, everyone stack on the tail. Like, we spread out the other night, and bugs were everywhere. Like, just get on the tail and stack there. Do we have a soul stone everything. or whatever up? Yeah, Although I, I think... I got Ray. I don't think you can actually res here if you die. You have to do the whole thing again. I just... Yeah, it's pretty, mine dropped pretty off. Pretty I figured I'd up. ask. Can't hurt. Okay. Can we grab Keish some buffs? He's got him. Hey, Crypto needs four, please. What was that? Seb, I you got say it. you're taking Ton off? Yeah, I'll take the Ton off. Oh. You just focus on the worms and the little dudes. Sounds good. Alright, we look good. Alright. On the ready check. Let's go. Everybody follow Hendo. Hey. Hendo, make sure you tank him in the center of the room. We were a little too close to the door before. She's its DC. And yeah, hold him at the beginning. Okay, we'll summon you after this fight. Everybody on the tail. Range, healers, everybody. Incoming little bugs. If the healers are in the uh, the melee stack, heal aggro will pull all the bugs in. Guys, please get on the tail. Let's bring them in. Hey, we these down. Oh shit, my bad. Wait, so you um, want the bugs the in worm. the melee, right? Kill, kill the, the worms. worms. Yes. Everybody, everybody stacks so the bugs come in. That's where the worms are. Uh, three stacks now. All right, worm here. Kill the worm. Four stack. Don't let him. Don't let him hit him though. All right, I got it. Yeah, if everybody stacks are off, when the worms spawn, heal aggro will pull them in, and we can cleave them. They just all combust you. Worm, worm, worm northwest before the worm. Just focus him down. Alright. Yeah, kill him and then the worm quick. And then we're gonna have little guys to kill too. Everybody stack up. Stack up on skull. Alright, good job, guys. Make sure you loot your thing. What a shitty trinket. Scales you down. say that, but. It was kind of awesome for a fear warrior. Fury warrior. No, that's awesome. A, what are you talking about? Can we get a summon on Jesus, please? Well, we have Sal, why would we ever that want that? Yeah. yeah. Summoning Jesus. We already Waste have the best weapon. Trinket spot. I guess you guys are holding back. I don't know. <laughs> Grats to Balta, major roll. I mean, imagine it must be pretty good for be... Horde, then. One slot's gonna be Diamond Flask or Earth Strike, and the other one's gonna be uh, Black Hand's Breath, uh, DFT, something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what these hive crawlers. Um, they just do a nasty poison, really. Rats to cat with a minor bed. Sorry, I'll. We got. I'm sorry. Who's, you want to mark Sab? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. No, I'm just fucking with Hendo, you're on uh, Skull. Somebody grab him. 
bring him back, bring him way back. Get that poison off if you can. Thunder's voice. It's idle on that dude. Stripples, when did the rep gain stop? Is it at max neutral? I yeah. got this one, guys. It's mine. I got it. You're welcome. Saved you from a scorpion. Yeah, start doing turn ins at uh, one point away from being friendly. All right, this is where we start getting the wasps. The um, the poison into the charge, guys? Yep. This as soon like, as we... This is like those mobs in um, AQ20, where one puts the poison on you and the other one charges. And if you get charged when you have the poison, uh, you're almost guaranteed to die. Will the art of Doxian take it off? It'll take it off, right? I... I don't think so. I don't it think says removes that. one poison. You can try it and let us know. Yeah, try and let us know. I don't think it... Yeah, I'll try it. Alright, stingers are going to be the first priority. Um, these have Wait, like a... Uh, these have an odd. We should stay pattern. back here, right? Back yeah, up. everybody stay back. Not ours, our fault. We kill the um, the Sartura looking ones, and then uh, which one are we doing after that? Stinger. If the pack has no battle guards, you kill the Stinger first. Incoming. Here we go. Stinger first. Stunnable. New skull. It will take it New off. New skull. Sick. That's great to know. Everybody wait for a second. Let's get these cleansed. Can right. I have the next pack? Yep, now. X next. Square. Careful, because the other ones might pat faster. This one's got a swarm guard. See that lasher? Lasher dies first. Stinger dies second. Get way back, get way back, get way back. Shit. Stun the lasher if you can. Not stunnable. Stinger next. We need to be dispelled. We got, this, we got this group. Kill the stinger. Skull. Skull, skull, skull. Someone's gonna pick up Don Mark one. Killed new skull, new skull. Moon next. Square next. Now this is pod racing. There's another mount. Hey, it's a yellow. Everybody behind the roll. Everybody back. Everybody back for a sec. Let's get mana. More and more. Just 
Just give it to Hendo. Yep. Why by rolling? No one got his joke, that's why. Everyone's just trolling Hendo. Alright. Yeah, well, be, be careful, because they will come back here. And no, they're wasps, die. not bees. We can all go ahead and screw up. Wasp, careful. Yeah, just go, go to the last pack. Oh. And just, we just... I suck, no. That's a long oh, There is then. one more pack, there is one more pack. Kill the, kill the uh, square, kill the square right now. Back up. I distracted. Good distract. Kill moon. This has a swarm guard, that's the new skull. Distracts up now, I'm gonna start moving. Kill X. Everyone on X. Moon. Triangle. Are those lashers exploding when they die? Is that what's going on? Ooh. Anubiseth Warhammer. Anubiseth Warhammer. If you take this, you are officially going maces. It's a really nice weapon. Congrats to Fortune the only nice. major bid. Congrats, dude. Congrats, for Hammer Fury Dream. Everybody back here, there is an ancient Karaji artifact to loot off one of these guys. It's worth like 2k rep. Oh my god. It's on Ray and Cat. We got a green mount. It's going to healers. Loot the mob under X. For a quest item. My rolls just get lower. Does anybody have a coffer key? And our set's on. This is the illustrious Huhuran. Pop your pots right now. Yep. Everybody, Esther's hey, healing. If anybody needs uh, in our pots, I have one, two, three, four, six stacks that the G Bank gave me. You want to pop one before and during the fight? Five graders, five gold each. It's a deal. Really is. So, Sabata, how do we want to do this rotation? I'd say. I'm guessing it's me and Hendo, right? On this? Or do you want to do it? No, I think you two are fine. Do we want the warriors using Wreck on this fight? Yes. Not until she goes into enrage, though. Yo, if anybody else needs a uh, trade, if that is actually a case, swap them out for somebody that needs a nature aura. Where is he? He's in group one. He's in group one now. Oh, yeah, he's way back. So the, the only thing um, for myself as a, a range healer is 
with the 34, like we kind of made it work, but we have to make sure we spread out more circular, right? So yeah, people so are going to have to make sure they really get all the way over to the left side and right side and spread out in like a very broad semicircle or almost all the way around. I think we could generally maybe follow our groups like odds left, even right, and just kind of spread out. All right, Zad is here. Mm. Well, he's just going to have all right. Make sure you got your NR gear on. Make sure you pre pot it. If you haven't, you still have time. Guys, yeah, save cooldowns, PIs, trinkets, everything for 30%. That's when we're going to burn her. All right. Is Hendo and, going first? Hendo, you're going to go first. You're going to tank her. When you get two stacks, call out and then stop attacking and try to save yourself because uh, Keish is going to come in and try to take it from you, okay? Cool. You know, don't don't get too far ahead of me. And then all of the uh, all the soakers, make sure that you're up really close. Are you ready? I think we're as ready as we're going to be. Uh, last when... game's Fort and the Hunter Aura. All right, stop for a sec. Yeah, Mir, you have Hawk on. Does anybody else have a fort that's about to fall off? Sure, we good. Okay. All right, here we go. Hendo, get her attention, bring her back here, so you're not out of range. Casters, healers, spread out, everybody, around the room. I'm at two already. Watch out. All right, let Hendo come over you. So, um, we want to do a designated Wyvern Sting Dispeller again? Number three. Find Hendo. Find Hendo. Let's come boss, Jeff. You're ready to go, Rack. Rack. I know what you said. One. Use your inner pots. All right, can you chill? Nice. Uh -huh. Keep healing, head. Keep healing. Keep healing. That was much cleaner. Oh, smoke. Both of the tokens again. And the Ring of the Martyr. Yeah, Talar, we'll probably start shedding in our gear. I guess start with Ring of the Martyr. I guess that actually worked pretty well. If I just pop the pummel at the beginning, then you can take it over me. Take your NR gear off. All right, we've got a lot of majors, so it's going to PR, and we have a tie. So if Brandy and Priest would please roll. Make sure you loot the boss. Congrats, Priest. Congrats, dude. Make sure you loot the boss. Gonna do dominance. Remember, these tokens are limited by reputation as well as everything else. 
Hey, out just curious. Was there? How did I get 56? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Oh, that was for my bracers. We're rolling the dominance. Yep, dominance is up for bed now. Paladin, mage, warlock, druid. Per the loot sheet, this has warlock prio for their shoulders because they're bis. Yep. What that doesn't do mean that they. Speak? That doesn't mean that a warlock will always win over everybody else, no matter what. That means if a warlock and a non warlock both major bid, the warlock gets the nod. Thank you for that. That's a good clarification. But if a warlock minors and someone else majors, the non warlock will win. So choke and black sage are the two major roles. Um, do either of you have the rep already to turn this in? No, I'm not neutral. Okay, then it was going to go to a PR, which is choke. Wrath choke. The next yeah. mobs are terrible, so we're waiting for this to be done. Next is going to be the bindings of command. I was hoping for two Nexus shards out of that old ring. What rep do you need to be? For the, Neutral for, for the time. shoulders. Ooh. So we've got Warrior and Rogue DPS. Cryo, Warrior, DPS if there are shoulders. Um, we have a lot of major roles. And uh, a cool or Sabata, do either of you have the rep to turn this in? I do not. Then it goes to PR, which you both have a tie, so cool and Sabata, please roll. I pass, you can have it. It's all good. Congrats to Sabata. Okie doke. Yeah, I'm working on it. Hold on. All right, ready. Ready, we count when your soul stone gets low. I got nine minutes, thank you. Uh, the artifact that begins the quest, we need to wait till we're neutral one point from friendly, right? Ah, uh, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't have an answer. Oh, you you probably, probably. just out. hold on to it and Google it after raid. Yeah, basically you cap out one point below three thousand where I am and can't go higher until you go turn a, a token yeah, in can... and guy back at the entrance. Okay, so we're up these, these, these guys need to be discussed on these uh, next. Um, mini raid bosses up here these are going to be harder than all the bosses that we've done so far uh we need to get a detect magic up on them and they have a couple of um categories where they're going to do one or the other debuff or not debuff but um effect they're either going to reflect fire and arcane or shadow and frost they're either going to do a meteor which is spread out on everybody who gets hit with it, so the more people that are hit by the meteor, the less damage we all take. Or he'll do a plague, where if you get the debuff, you hurt everybody around you and you need to get out. The next category is a shadow storm. It's a shadow bolt volley on everybody that's greater more than 15 yards away. Or he'll do a thunderclap, so we'll either all need to be close or far. 
but we won't know until he starts doing one. And then he'll either do an enrage when he gets low, or he'll explode when he gets low. So right off the bat, we have a mage hit him with detect magic. Um, if it sticks, he's reflecting shadow and frost. If it doesn't, he's reflecting fire and arcane. Um, if it's the shadow volley, we get close. If it's the thunderclap, we get far. If it's the meteor, we stack up. If it's the plague, we either spread out or whoever gets it needs to get out. On pull, its hands will turn either black or, a, I guess, a whitish color, and that's going to indicate whether it's the shadow or uh, thunderclap. Yeah, somebody posted it into the Discord at two pictures, uh, if you want to know what it looks like. I'm not sure who it was, but thank you, whoever it was. And if we, if we like pull two, we just, made... we just die. So everybody's going to uh, follow, for ranged, you're going to follow um, Diamond. Chokehold has a diamond over his head. That'll be where we stack. Now, if he gets the um, if he gets the plague, of course, don't follow him. And then I have a star, and I'll be the melee stack. These guys will also uh, just randomly summon um, single, small um, dudes that we need to turn and burn really quickly. It doesn't announce whenever they do that. You just they just come. Let's go ahead and get stacked up in our in our two groups. Aren't just just dismiss patch right now? Oh yeah, yeah. Caster is still DPS until we call out which reflect it is. Um so let's get in our Two groups. We can. I guess Josh is AFK. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Forgen, you here, brother? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. And Dead Tilt, you here? Yeah. I'm Jumping around. Are we stacking on triangle or diamond for ranged? Uh, diamond, usually. Okay, let's um, all move forward and stay in our groups. And then we'll pull um, an Anuba Chad whenever he patrols back. Please, please pay attention to if you do get plague. Do not wipe the raid by standing in us without running out. Here we go. Stutter clap. Clap. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, everybody Zarg. stack up. Everybody stack up. Out of range, though. Thunder clap. Like, rage okay. group, stay with diamond. Okay, got everybody, our, everybody, got ranged. Frost. everybody ranged. Everybody on diamond. Everybody on diamond. Big melee. Melee kill Ed. If the tank gets a meteor, someone else has to pick it up. Right. Just try to keep him alive. These guys are tauntable, right? Yep. Melee kill the swarm guard. I think Swamp Hero is still too close to Thunder Clap. Range should all be on him. All range should be on him. Yeah, we're too close. The range group's too yep. close. Okay, keep Three steps back. Back up some more. All my marks are dead, so White protection. Kind of... There's not enough range to allow to kill him. White protection. Oh, yeah. I got a soul stone. All right, go ahead and wipe. And do run back. Just to get out of there. Yeah. What did we say the math on that was? One in 34? What? 100%. The chance, that, the chance that they have those two abilities. The worst. <laughs> it's a one in 
It's a one in four. If it's two fifty fifties. Yeah, I guess we were uh, too close to the. When I res you, run back. So I just have one, one little quibble. Um, next time you say stack up, everybody stack up. We're already stacked in two different groups. Can you please distinguish? Because I assumed that you meant like everybody stack up on melee. So I started to run to melee. Which I now stack, I realize stack and follow reverse. your marker, either a melee group marker or a range. If if a range group, and then stack, stack and range group, like the person with the marker, that if they have to run in, they will run in first, and then you can follow. Back up, pass. Can we just clarify it anyway? Isn't that big of a deal? Like melee stack up on whatever. Yeah, we can say stack melee or stack range. Or I mean, like we don't even everybody need stack on just, star, yeah. like where we are, because it's just confusing if I get like two of the same message. I'm like, okay, well, what am I doing something wrong? Because no one's moving. Well, thunderclaps out and shadow bolts in. It's the easiest way to remember. But we can't have raiders making individual decisions like that. It's got to be one clear voice given the raid direction. And the intent of the icons is that that's the direction. So if it's just all the range, follow the diamond, and all the melee, follow the, the star or circle or whatever, it's simple. Just follow the marker. Whoever is the range marker is going to have to be explicitly careful because um, Thunderclap was much bigger than we gave it credit for there. Yeah, that was my bad. Nobody should need to run back. Um, if you are running back, cool. Yeah, you can't run back and like run in either because of all the mobs in the gauntlet. Yeah, I think he's saying they can summon, but really no need for that. Okay, starting to patrol back. Got one walking up, yeah. It's sneak, it's not possible. They either pick one or the other. Everybody back up. Make sure you're not in the tunnel when you res, because you'll pull. Yeah, get out of there. Cheez it's. Cheez it's. Cheez it. No, back up. Cheez it's back. Cheez it's, you're going to kill it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. Is he in disc? Cheez it's, bro. Are you in Discord? Yeah, my bad. Really don't know to be impressed or not with the balls he had there. So they'll never do meteor and plague. They'll only ever do one or the other, and they'll they'll never do the shadow storm and the thunderclap. That's all stone hisp. Never. Okay, everybody's alive. That's step one. Alright, let's get rebuffs up. Well, let's get someone on Zat first. Now keep in mind that their abilities shuffle every time you engage them, so it will not be the same as it just was. So if it's, if it's Plague and Shadow Volley, everybody stacks close. Like everybody gets within 15 yards 
and whoever gets plague just has to go out and eat shadow volleys probably. You can just move clockwise around the guy. Crazy that these guys are the hardest thing in the raid so far. He talks about it in the video as being something that wipes a lot of guilds. These things take a lot of practice. And coordination for sure. Alright, let's get into our stacks. When you're ready, get into the stacks. All right, he's on his way back. Let's go ahead and scoot up both groups. Scoot forward some. Get darker. <laughs> Here we go. Shadow Storm. So we need to stack close. Everybody get close. Oh, no, it's not a cop, sorry. Okay. Back out, back. Okay. That was Everybody my bad, sorry. Out. Everybody out. We all Let's need to get together out. for Meteor. Or you might as well just be in defensive stance, honestly. It's fire, okay. Like Kiliad. Do we have a soul stone up or anything? Uh, it won't be when I use it. Put one up right now. This is how it felt like to stack Just on one, up, right? one. More dots? He's immune to half the dots though. Yes, <laughs> die trash. This is like the one time you guys get to put as many dots on them as you want. Well, maybe not as many, but a lot more. Hey, uh, so does Hendo have like a one in... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 40... Yeah. Yeah, one of the tanks that I'm charging him. Run out, run out, run out. Oh, out. Run, 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 run. Bye, Hendo. That <laughs> didn't hurt him. He lived. In the tank as well, bro. What y'all talking about, man? Shit. Did yeah, anybody else getting. get a little like flashing run from right. a weak aura? Yep. I don't know if that was the Thames pack or not, something else, but Thames, Thames at Q pack. Yeah, let's not play opposites call out anymore, though. Yeah, so I, I was trying to like look at the hand and Thio Shadow Storm. That was my bad. Get Sorry. mana and some uh, baby buffs on Aver. We'll need a um, another white protection up. There's somewhere between. We already have it. An ass load and a fuck ton. Am I good to pull this next one? 
So let's all go ahead and uh, stack up now, if we can. Can we not heal the melee through Thunderclap? Does it hit that hard? No, you, no, you don't want to do. I mean, healers were were like pretty low on mana at the end of that right there, and only Hendo was eating Thunderclap. It hits pretty. Yeah, you get rocked pretty good. Like maybe at some point we can all stay in, but not today. Not today. <laughs> not, not today. I agree with that. Not not next month either. Can we like move up in here? Or... Yeah, let's yeah. go ahead and scoot up. Just, we, scoot like... up a little further. Poor Arzog. We can probably move all the way to that weird like. like I, I y'all can stand on me. We're scared. I get it, but <laughs> <laughs> right, back up, back up, and get stuck. Get stuck. Just cut him back to Fankris' room. Get, uh, I'll get on that. <laughs> You're out of healing range. I'm scared I'll get blamed for the thunderclap again. <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, we're all nervous. Or I take a nap and let us know. Oh, I will. Don't worry. He's got so much health. It's awful. Oh, it's only like half of rag. Chash. It's, it's only half of a million. Boss. They have more like health again. than the first boss. Because I'm going to die if I pull this shit and I get meteored. Can you try a pet pull and then dismiss? Hey. All right. Do an eye kill rock if you need to. TVs, no. no. No pull thread anymore. They patched it. Rip Tifis. Shadow Storm, it looked like. Yeah, I think yeah, this is Shadow Storm. Shadow Storm. Okay, everybody stack up. with the rain. Or, no, yeah, stack with melee. Stack Meteor. With melee. Everybody stack real tight with the melee. Shadow Frost Reflect. You gotta get the stack tighter. We have enough time to, between each dude to pop Death Wish. That's... Uh, Explode. Run, 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 run. Uh, oof. Gonna have to start bringing Swiftness Pots. Hey, that Meteor is fire damage, so mages use Fire Ward. Can't you, like, blank? No, <laughs> yeah. no, no, the Meteor. Yes, you well, I mean the explosion. Oh yeah, so he can blink out of that. Reliable re way to start pulling them. So I'm gonna rest TFs. We're just gonna stack TFs every pull. Oh, everybody owes him a stack of uh, poultry nah, or good. something. If you want, you can mail it. Don't you have spray on him? He can probably outrun him. Thanks and freeze oh, roll. Well, the baby. yellow mount. Thanks and freeze roll. The yellow mount. All right, restack. I see a priest with an eighty. Let's get restacked, everybody. I'm gonna get ready. a little bit just to make it easier to see outside of the corpse. Hendo is a. Hendo circle. We're stacking on. Uh, Melee is the. Hey, coming. Hey, we're. Hey, get. Melee group star. Are we're too far apart. Yep. Shadow storm. Plague. Shadow. I am. Everybody in stack in. melee range. Get out to one. Shadow frost. I'm out. I'm out. Go plague. Get out. Yeah, I'm basically Axe. dead. Kill the ads. We need more DPS on the ads. I'll pull it off. I'll pull it off. Don't heal Sabata. Go deal with your own problems. Person player. Hey, bring it in. Bring it in. Focus the ads and the boss. Okay, so there is a happy medium where you won't get shadow gold. Right. That's good to know. Cash. 
Airbag's moving. Airbag's moving. Uh -huh. Batman's moving. Move Batman's moving. Ray, move out. By two steps. Yep. That's was... too late. Rayford, move in. Rayford, move in. Yes. I have plague, though. Stay away. Yeah, you have to like balance it. There's a happy medium in there somewhere. There's a sweet spot, but just focus him down. Explode, explode, explode. Run away, explode. run away. Run away. Kill this ad. Ooh. Who's got plague? It's occurring. Call Ray, him. help, heal. Just help. <laughs> Rip. That didn't help. <laughs> Lost you a little holy shack. It was no good. No problem. Not too bad. I feel like we're starting to get a rhythm. So that plague, is that fire damage? Is that what you said? No, the oh, meteor is no. fire damage. Okay. Oh, that's nature damage. I guess plague I could is nature, nature pot. What Noir okay. was trying to tell everybody is that if you get the plague, you can still be within the shadow storm range if yeah. you go to the other side of him. So okay. you, you want to be close enough that he doesn't shadow storm you, but far enough away that you're not dealing damage okay. to everyone else. Yeah, someone said that earlier, just kind of strafe around in a circle as opposed to backing up. Got it. That was a little bit awkward because there wasn't much room on his sides uh, where he is at the moment, maybe. But I could so have figured something the out. The sides was actually about a sweet spot where people were standing. Okay. Okay. Why are people hitting each other? <laughs> what happened? We're hitting a scarab. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. And Chalkaron, they were at the very inner circle of the shadow res, like one more step in and they would have been fine. That's just for the shadow bolt. I, it's hard to tell if anybody was getting hit by the plague from that, but I don't think so. Okay. And if self-destruct is happening on your plague, run with, but not with, with us. Yeah, that thing that Ed just said in chat, that's not enabled by default. So you should go in and turn that on. All right, let's uh, we can move, let's up. move up. Yep, and get stacked up. Hendo, try to tank him where that scarab is so it gives people the whole area to move around in. Alright, get stacked up, everybody. It's gonna let me drink eventually, right? I guess I can drink in the stack. I'm yep. pulling next go around. Incoming. As shadows storm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely storm. Get in. Fire came. Stack tighter. Necro meteor. This should be easy. Stack tighter, guys. Focus the ads. Everybody. My blade is ready. In. Anna, scoot up. Come get your melee skill, my dude. Seriously, just melee him if you're a hunter. Anna Renee, scoot in. Anna, are you in Discord right now? Bro, Anna, if you don't, like, acknowledge this right now. Focus the ad, explode, run away. Run away, run away. Kill the ad. Oh, Bane's fight again. Oh. Does explosion hurt the ad at all? No. Oh, I was oh. going to say no deaths, but you ruined it, Bames. Yo, More. can I suggest something for the poll? We should all be on one group, and then you can tell if it's Shadow Bolts or 
or tap thunderclap right off the bat, and then if it is thunderclap, everyone just moves back. We're all eating for sure one shadow bolt, like no matter what. We can't risk another one on the range group if they're too slow. The, that the last group we were actually out of range bolt. of yeah, the shadow bolt. If the range moves up, they're eating shadow bolts too then. Tanks and healers, blue mount. Are we color coding this? <laughs> I don't think so. Because I'm yellow. Congrats to Brandy. Is this the last one? Possibly. I don't know. Hey, oh, Anna, shit. Are you, are, are you there? Is Anna there at all? He, he is. Because he's not responding to Whisper he's, or Red Chat or Discord. He's whispering me. Right. It was looking like he was just completely unplugged. All right, everybody stack up. Get ready for the next one. Uh, is that as far as that guy comes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll screw up. I mean, but they have like a really large sneeze radius, and just in case, like, they're scared of, I don't know, catching something. <laughs> Social distancing, except not here. Right, stack, guys. And come. Well, I think his range should be slow, slightly closer, so we have more reaction time to run over now. It's Shadow Storm. Shadow Storm. Shit. We don't need to be 40 yards, we can be 30 yards to start. Everybody in. Everybody in. Oh, this is an easy one. Everybody come in. Everybody melee range. Shadow Frost or fuck. Everybody Priest, bring in. Up. If you have to cancel it, he'll do it. Just get in. Everybody get in even closer. Unless you can hit him with your staff. You're not close enough. Explode. Run away. Still an ad. Bro, priest, you have a It's Good because job, of the way my UI is set up. I have to, like, it, it's a stupid thing that I have to move off of all my healing shit to turn around. No, there should be audio warning in DBM if you check my message. Oh, there's right. audio warning in Discord. I right, literally guys. had like 22 health potions earlier. I have one. Nice. Well, listen up, guys. Uh, this room is Twin M's, so we made it. We tried painting death. Quick, look at the giant floating eyeball. Not actually death. Oh, yeah, I gotta take my sword off here. Guys, we get to fight the Eye of Sauron. Okay, so. Oh, I've been <laughs> that. It doesn't even work IRL. I'm on Lily. Tanks, melee, and hunters will all be on Vec and the Lash. Tanks, melee, hunters, Vec and the Lash. Casters will be on Vec Lore. Vec and the Lash does an unbalancing strike. It's a six second debuff. It lowers the tank's defense skill. So while that's up, um, the tank is way more likely to get crit and crushed and less likely to dodge, parry, block, etc. Um, he will also do an uppercut where he knocks the tank uh, back. So you just tank him up. Well, I guess he knocks everybody back. The tanks just put their back on a wall, melee run back in. And then uh, he's going to occasionally mutate bugs, and they're going to get really big. Uh, and we can uh, just DPS them down pretty quickly. The healers that are on uh, whichever side Vecna Lash is currently on, so the the one where the melee are at, uh, whenever he mutates the bugs, they become hostile. So your heals are going to get heal aggro on them immediately. So you want to be not right up on uh, the twin imp, but you want to be close enough to the melee or just position yourself in a way that whenever you get heal aggro, the bugs will run past the melee and will 
will grab it and kill it that way. Uh, the Caster Imper does a Shadow Bolt as their main attack. They also do an AoE knockback whenever anyone is within melee range. <clears throat> Upon teleporting, the physical tank will be knocked away and the Warlock tank will take over. And then he also does uh, Explode Bug, and the bug will swell before popping in. Can... Um, the strategy that I have read and seen is you put one physical tank and one Warlock tank on either side, and about five seconds before the teleport's expected, the DPS can start to go ahead and move to the other side. So that way, whenever they do teleport, um, they can only start attacking it. DPS gotta wait for the, the all clear to dive back in. Because if they start moving at all and they start healing, we might as well just go ahead and wipe and try again. Please stop as far as the as far as the um the in depth warlock details, I have no idea on that stuff. Just don't stay on the steps. Make sure you're down there in a the flat area. This is not a DPS. And, uh, when they Wait. when they teleport, the physical tanks need to like after the lock gets it, the physical tanks need to get out too, or you can bug it and he'll run up and melee the lock tanks. Hey, Hesp, can I get some of those shadow pots? Come and get them. All right, so a couple of things that have to be said here. This fight is a marathon. It is not a race, and it is going to take a while. So everyone's got to be on their game for a while, and you can't do anything too risky here, okay? It means we need everybody to focus up on what we need them to do, and everybody needs to know what we need them to do. Now, if you're... DPS, what you need to be doing is making sure you're on the right Emperor. The if heck? you're if the Emperor moves, wait guys, please stop attacking. Yeah, the bugs. I regret while I was blessing. I literally didn't do anything. Everybody kill these bugs quick. Now ultimately what's gonna happen here is we're gonna tank we're gonna start by tanking Vecla and Ash over here at the base of these stairs. And we're going to try to pull Vecklor over here. Now, he's a pain in the ass. He, You have to basically outrange his Shadow Bolt to pull him. So whichever Warlock is going first, and Chal and Eri, you can roll to figure it out if you want, uh, your job is to figure out basically how close you can get before you have to turn around after you hit him. And what we're going to need to do here is when they're about to swap, like Sculpt had said, we got to call it out. Everyone needs to start heading to the other side of the room if there are bugs up, you got to kill the bugs, and then you focus back on the Emperor after that, okay? And if there's bugs that need to be killed in the middle of the phase, we got to focus on the bugs too, okay? Can you, uh, is there any way you can indicate or flag where they're going to be tanked? Is it just going to be right below this platform, essentially? Who got my Moonstones? I have Moonstones, but you can't reach. It's not even close. So, like, where there's stairs, like the platforms that they're standing on, yeah, um, like the one on the left. Um, he's, How about your gonna, torches? You're gonna have them like, you're gonna have them like between the torch and the staircase. Okay, so in that little divot there, so near the platform that they're on. Yeah, like to the left Not or the right. Not necessarily all the way up in the cubby hole. Okay. But but just down area. and towards the wall on either side. Got it. And healers don't uh, be on the side either. Tanks and tanks need to be aware of um, demo shouting. Can aggro bugs, and then everybody, uh, whirlwinds, cleaves, etc., can aggro bugs too. Okay, single target, no multi shot, no AOE, nothing. Just single target on the emperors. Okay. Just be very so. I got an issue here, actually. I can't use Thunder Fury here, and I can't use my shield, because uh, they both have uh, Lightning AoE effect. You can. Um, well, I'll pull bugs is all I'm saying. Yeah, it it's not that big a deal until, like, like if everybody is sitting there demo shouting Whirlwind and constantly pulling shit. When you're up, at, whenever, since you're going to be, like, up on the wall, you'll pull a couple bugs at the start, and then it's prob it'll probably be fine. After, like, the first couple bugs die, right? The bugs uh, have 3,000 
until they get picked by one of the dudes. So if it gets picked by one of the dudes, it should be killed by the DPS anyway. If it gets picked, uh, if, it, if it doesn't get picked, if it just gets aggroed, everybody can just do one quick cleave or AoE yeah. and knock them all out and they'll be dead. So multi-shotting worldings, no big deal then, correct? Uh, don't multi-shot or you're going to hit bugs. You, you want to avoid hitting bugs. <laughs> Yeah, don't multi just, there's something that's cool me as the tank if I AOE bugs. No one else should be, though, is what they're telling me. If there Sorry. are bugs next to him, already been aggroed, you can try and multi-shot them, but be careful that you don't aggro anymore. That's what it comes down to. The goal is to not aggro more bugs than are already aggroed at any given point. Yeah. Go ahead and dismiss your pets, too, just to be safe. Oh, yeah. You get teleported, though, right, y'all? No. No. Teleport the tanks don't. So we need oh, one work tank on each side, and we need one regular tank on each side. And basically, whichever emperor is available on each side gets picked up by the corresponding tank. Got it. Okay, so we're gonna have Chal and Erie as primary tanks. Yeah, no. they're gonna be. They're not the only like. Only one of them will be tanking at it. Oh, they, okay. They are tanks, yes, but they are tanking the same emperor, and they will be tanking him when he warps across I see. the room. Half the time, back. got it. One okay. Warrior will be tanking something, and then a warlock will be tanking something at any given. Okay. Time. Any advice for where ranged and healers should be standing? On the flat ground. Okay. Ground stairs. If healers get like healing aggro on the stairs, it causes LOS issues, and the caster amp runs in the raid and okay. these people. So we're gonna go down and spread out. Yeah, look, look, for all easy. intents and purposes, to make it simple, the bosses will be taunted at each torch in the room. One on the left, one on the right. And Perfect. everyone will be in the in the middle-ish to one side that they're staying on to heal that side of who the tanks and whatnot. And the DPS will be running in between, basically. And the casters will be somewhere in the middle so they can hit both sides at the same time and just switch. And that's now, the play. If you have white protection and, and we lose control here, your job is to come back to where we're standing now and die here. If you die in the middle of the room, when you res, they will pull. I got a really short aggro range, actually. It pulls from about the center of the room. So if the healers are standing close to the center, they'll they'll pull if they try to soul stone there. So any any last questions? Who are the two tanks French King said? How uh, soon are you going to have the melee go out so they don't melee the the caster imp when he comes in and cause an explosion? We're going to do that like five or ten seconds. Which side are we doing each tank and each warlock on? I don't know. Hendo and Irbix to the left side, Sabata and Chops are on. The... Be good if we have one backup as well on each side at least, right? If you can back up for your tank. And uh, yeah, I guess Cat uh, will be the backup one. Okay. Which side should I be on, or should I try to be in the middle? Well, you're uh, gonna be swiveling. Yeah, just DPS. Okay. If one goes down, you'll take their spot. Okay. And okay, Hillary, I'm gonna. It's gonna be fun. No, we saw that. Here, can I talk to the poll real quick? What? Um, so I'm gonna run up hit a searing pain, run along the wall to the torch, and kind of stand right below these stairs, right? Just go stand against the wall until he comes over there. Because you're probably going to wait on the teleport to get the melee guy completely against the wall. And healers, Doesn't... after the port, the the warrior tank's going to have aggro. Make sure you switch from the warrior to the warlock after the teleport, because both of them can be taking damage. So I've seen the warlocks actually pull. Are you saying like a tank is going to pull? No, you're going to pull, but like it's hard to get him against the wall because he's ranged. Right. So like you're going to throw a dot on him and he's going to come after right. you or whatever. Right. You're just going to run over against the wall. Then after the teleport, you'll probably have to run over against the stairs. So okay. If you've ever, if you've ever, um, like, tried to position a caster on your warrior. You have to like come up in a melee range sometimes to get them to melee yep. you, and then you like kind of stutter step back. It's going to be a uh, pain in the ass to make him move. The way I saw it done was somebody searing pained him and then literally ran all the way back to where we are now just to get him to move into the center. But after teleport, and the teleports are frequent, mind you, but after teleport, um, the the tank on that side can then taunt him and bring him where he's supposed to be. Hi, everybody. 
almost. We got a couple of. Uh... I'm good. I don't know if I just okay. closed it by accident. We're all ready. All right, well, ready to pull? let's give this a shot. This is going to be the, the penultimate learning experience. All right, here, here we, we go. go. So a hunter might have to help stab. Three, two, one, let's go. Next on Eric. How do we get all those bugs? I have no idea. Do I kill them? Kill the bugs. Yes or no? Kill them? Yes. You kill them when he powers yeah, up. You right? aggro bugs, kill them. Enraged bugs are priority as well. We get cursed shit. Yeah, we'll in two seconds. Move out. Everybody move out. Start swapping. Kill the big one. Kill the big uh, bug. Sab down. Res Savata. I can't heal with bugs on me. How are we getting bug aggro? They're like I don't know, neutral. but there was bug aggros on the healer on melee side. Oh, wow. Shell's down. And those down. Just wipe it. Another tank yeah, on the melee. Move to the stairs. Just move to the stairs. Quit healing move to the stairs. Be ready for that. It's so hard to cast when bugs are pushing spells back. Yeah, we're, trying to, we're trying to figure the out the bugs. Could they possibly be too far apart? No, uh, they're no. aggroing just when like spells are cast near them. Do we have a soul stone up or do we need a DI? I have a soul stone. Hendo just kind of died. I don't know what. His uh, unbalancing strike hit me for uh, 4,796. Yeah. Unbalancing strike is going to hit for a fuckload, and then it also lowers his, the target's defense rating by 100. So after it hits for a fuckload, it, they're way more likely to get crit and crushed, and they're less likely to be able to dodge, block, or parry. You basically need to be able to... Um... You need to be able to take the hit, which is why I basically went in with a shield and had shield block yeah. on. Yeah, tanks can shield up for this entire fight. My shield was on. Yeah, I know. He just gonna hit hard, man. Yeah, they just hit hard. They just I hit am hard. very curious here. It seemed like one of the biggest problems was aggro of bugs to people. Like, do we know exactly... I mean, if people are dying because the bugs are aggroing when people are casting spells on them, that, that is very interesting to me, and I want to know about that. So I was moving, and I think I might have right-clicked on one and attacked one. I think they... As I was moving like into any, position. I think they aggro as a group. That's why you're not supposed to ever AOE them, because you'll grab a bunch of them if you get one. That's why I said don't ever try to multi-shot or anything because i know for me again i'm not sure what aggregated on the pole i put a renew on hendo i don't know if it was healing aggro when it was near me or if i accidentally hit it with my mace i'd have to go back and look if i have a vod but but once one got on me like all of them around came on me as well i didn't aoe or do any damage or anything yeah, yeah no, they, they have the, the zf scares behave in the same exact way so you aggro one and all of them within radius will run to you and aggro yeah, regardless of AOE or anything. Careful. Regardless if you attack them. You gotta be extremely careful. You cannot hit a scarab. And if you run into more of them, it'll aggro all of those. But that's what it seemed like for me, Hesperus, too. Is like, it seemed like it was just a random aggro on me. But again, I think I probably right clicked it by accident. And I'm going to uh, work on the heal assignments a little bit, um, if others can focus on resing.
Uh, how safe is it to go get like Hendo and Keish? You can get pretty. You can go to the stairs and get us. Okay. Um, one other thing that I want to make mention of. So healers, pay uh, pay close attention at the moment of the teleport because the tanks are going to take a buttload of damage right before the warlocks get aggro. So the warlocks need to cast something to get aggro. The tanks, the melee tanks, will always be the first target if everything goes properly. And if that happens, we're going to take a bunch of shadow damage and a bunch of arcane damage all at once. So, like, right before the teleport, you have to still be healing the, the physical tank until you're sure that the Warlock has aggro. Okay, and so for these bugs, they are yellow. So at some point, someone hit them, and then you pulled them with heal aggro or whatever other aggro means is what happened to them. Someone had to have hit it somehow. Yeah, you gotta you hit them, and but they the ones around them come with them. It's not like you hit yeah, one. Yeah, no, no, I, I I get that, and they all have aggro that can be pulled with heals and whatnot. Yep. You know what I mean? Exactly. So I would have your That's mages and whatnot really. like stack and AOE them down. Then, like I don't know, you need to keep them off the healers. Maybe. The only problem is if you AOE them down, you take more bugs with you. It's just gonna be a mess. And they constantly respawn, right? Yes. Cannot clear this like randomly. Uh, that's fine, but regardless, they need to be killed off the healers, so we there's no pushback. Like, or we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, you know? We just need to no, not click any of them. A single target them. Well, if, if, one person, on single target if one person clicks a bug, like six of them will go straight to one of the healers. That's the problem. And be careful if you have macros that like activate attacks that could activate auto attack. Cause I literally have almost done that a few times trying to cleanse blessing of sanctuary from me or whatever it is. Sal. If I see a healer getting attacked, I'll clear him out with AOE. All casters should. And the other thing I want to point out, we didn't have a ton of time to check it, but, um, ultimately we need to double check like, uh, watch your surroundings don't get so focused fired on the emperors or on your standing because certain bugs that could very well be near you are going to explode or are going to grow and become extremely dangerous so um make sure that you're aware of your surroundings because if you're not uh you could die to a bug exploding without realizing it was there if the if they if they start to like grow uh and they look like they're on fire they're going to explode get away from them if they start to grow and they're big and red and angry you got to kill them Keish will be tanking those. Uh, yes. If somebody tried getting me a res, I'm sorry for some reason it wasn't giving me the ability to res. It didn't show up. If you can, just run back in and we'll summon oh, no, here, I. It went the second time around, weirdly enough. All right, we got rebuffs up. I get pair of shadow protection too. Anybody missing intel? Yeah, group seven's missing it. Um, I think group five's missing fort and shadow. Right, group seven says missing shadow. I need some more water if I'm if I'm gonna buff again though. Seriously.
Okay, well, let's, let's give it a good college try. Let's try and get a few attempts in. Or maybe we'll yeah. do it right now. Tech just crashed. Do we have uh, raid protection? Yeah. Okay. So you can get raid crashed. from these bugs if you want. Yeah, you guys can start. I'm just logging back in. Yeah, in a second. I'm just going to wait until we're sure we're ready. Oh, the water should get raid from these bugs? Let's not attack the bugs. I just... Method few of them. They don't. They don't do a ton other than interrupt people. So we just need to get rage off of them. Just don't pull like ten of them. Did somebody say multi shot? I'm stoked to get to stand in the middle and just heal both sides. What? I'm on raid heal, so I just get to stand in the middle and and raid heal. If you're raid healing. Try to stay on the stairs so you don't get. Random bugs come to you, and if they do, you can see it. All right, deck you back. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's pull. Teleport coming. Careful on tab targeting. Start moving. Four, Everybody rotate. Three, Stop casting. Two, one. Get ready to move heels. Okay. Yo, I got slow and I need help here. I got him. Chow's got the aggro. Big bug. Kill this little scarab. Teleport coming. Switch, stop Four, casting. Three, two, one. Kill skull. They aren't teleport yet. Wait. Big, big squad. They're supposed to teleport, but they didn't. It's not there. always. Really. You had to wait until his actual teleports. You hear them? That's why it's not here. Big, Big bug. Hey, we the bugs now. Start running, start running. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. That's way off. Please don't start running at five. Leave it like two. The, um. It won't be too far away. Way off anyway. It's like, it's like uh, mag though. Ten seconds off. It's on Chow. Yeah, Hendo, you gotta be on top of it. Okay, some fire ability. What else? Watch out for the exploding oh, scorpion. Chow, though. Oh, Chow, Chow. He's on, he's on his way to cheese its I can't stop him. Ow. He's on his way. I'm dead. Was I too close? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think so. About teleport. That was late. A lot of bugs. Kill the bugs. I'm down again. Flash is gonna take some bodies, please. Chow is down. Everybody's dying over here. Move to the stairs. Move to the stairs. Everybody die on the stairs. If you guys have like small bugs on you, don't run through the other bugs because it's gonna aggro all of them. Like we can kill them while they're just in the middle of the room if you don't move at all. But if you, as soon as you run them over another bug, they're all gonna aggro and chain. Yeah. 
That's what's happening right now. Is someone's running straight through them, and then all the yeah. healers getting aggro from it. I don't think that's what's happening. I had aggro on like three bugs, and a different healer pulled aggro off of me. So the bugs ran across the room to another healer. And that's then fine. That also that's also going to happen. But like people are running straight through the room with bugs on them still. That was a lot better though. With like not hitting the bugs in the beginning. Yeah, let's, kind of let's be clear here. Let's be clear here. These guys are really hard. They take a few attempts at minimum, and uh, that was a pretty damn good attempt. I I would have been probably a lot better, but I got crushed. I got hit for 4,783 with unbalancing strike, and then he hit me again pretty much immediately. Yeah, I think you really need flask here. Yeah, they just seem to teleport about so, six seconds after the call it's supposed to. So, so the timer when teleport timer is ending, right? Okay, so in summary, the teleport timer is way behind. Uh, Hendo has to get uh, right on top of where the other one is going to teleport to. So he can jump right on it, and it jumps right on him. How does he know exactly where so it's going to teleport to? It's going to go to the exact same spot that the other yeah, one was in. But bottom line, I need to be just the closest person, okay? Yeah. Like, and I also not to get need not to get hit by the guy doing the like the caster guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just so if people back up too, it gives me some time there. Okay. And if you don't DPS right away, it also gives me a little bit of time too. Yeah, and in terms of the DPS swap, we don't need yeah, to call up, that hold out. Up. Hold up, we're still. I was still going down a list. So we had, um, well, not a lot of fun. The teleport, Hendo being on the teleport. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the teleport timer is messed up. Um, we all need to um, stay off of the bosses, except for the tanks who need to be really right up on the bosses during the teleport. And we need to try to not, if we have bugs on us, we need to try to not drag them uh, through other bugs. Those are the, like, big three, I think. So, I, I think one of the things as a Warlock tank that I noticed was that I might try to slide a little bit closer. Um, just to, uh, I, I saw, like, a lot of other locks be pretty close in their videos. Not so close that they get into the AoE, but close so there's less of a chance that somebody else ends up being the next closest person. You know, typically it should be the tank, right? I did exactly. see, like, on one transition, Zat got hit by two Shadow Bolts. Um, I know the timers are off, and that's probably a large part of that, but um, I just wanted to make that observation. So They're just running far, too. Yeah, that's good. I, I just want to point out, people have been saying it in text a lot, the, the timer, as far as we can tell it's a cooldown for when they can teleport. It's not like an immediate action. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to wait, you don't want to wait until they teleport the out. So that timer is giving you time for when you should do, may, uh, Malie should switch, basically. And the key aspect there that I want to drive home is the guy, the, the caster emperor, he does a extremely nasty arcane explosion. Uh, and if, if Melee waited until they teleported, they would literally all die as soon as he kept No, it's like, so half a, and then right wait until they teleport, and then you run it. So basically, Melee, when you know the teleport's coming, you should start heading to the other side, but you don't run in and start DPSing whoever's there. You have to wait and just watch, and as soon as the teleport happens, make sure it's on the right target, then you go in. So you, we swap when the timer's up. And then while we're running, that'll give it time for it to actually. Yeah, they take a little bit longer. They take a little bit longer. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's, you know, a difficult fight um, from like a healing perspective at all. So I think slow is, is good. Like we got plenty of sustain, I think. Do we and need more raid healing? I think, you know, anybody on the tank can help, but I, I didn't see raid healing being a big issue. It was just like periodic spike and damage to the, the warrior tanks more than anything. Does Keesh yeah. have someone chasing him around? Since he's going to be taunting? They don't, I mean, they don't hit that hard, but... 
well, no, I'm like, like those anyways. Whether you're running across or not, pay attention to what's around you and the bugs that are around you. And there were also quite a few people I saw who were too close to the um, the explodey scorpions. So just you got to make sure you know what's around you and don't uh, don't stand there if you see one near you about to explode. So there's two different types. One gets killed, one you run away from. Yes. You can kill what's the easiest way to tell? One's on fire, he explodes, like his horn okay. on fire. Remember what it looked like when a giant gnome got uh, the, in a frenzy on so boss one? That, it, you're, you're, you're overcomplicating it. Vecklore explodes, Vecnalash mutates. The caster explodes. Okay. Well, I'm ready to give it another shot. Yep. Can, can we get buffs we got, up? Uh, wipe protection up. Yep. Yeah, can I get an intellect? Thank you. Um, I still need a, a shadow buff three and four, or um, three and seven. I can get three. Oh, you just did. I'll get seven. I'm in combat though, so I can't drink. And I drop. Okay, seven's good. All right. There's no objections. We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. Guys. You see a bug killing people, kill it. Bug. On Sabato. So, ciao. Yeah, Blizzard. Yeah, if you hit that Blizzard move. Child's gonna explode. I got tossed across the room. Wipe it up. Oh, shoot. Up. Why, why wipe? I mean, Child. we will. And then uh, the Captor one and shot me across the room with an AoE. I mean, we, we lost. Take off your uh, weapons, casters. We lost two tanks and um, three healers. Four. Okay. We're doing great on left. Yeah, left seemed. I actually went to move back to right. Um, we just we just had like six people die to an exploding bug. Maybe just unlucky, but yeah. Yeah, Admiral against the hardest one of the hardest parts about this fight. Yes. And we're we're like. There's still, in my opinion, way too many scorpions and scarabs on. Oh yeah, are you all trying to kill the exploding bugs? I mean, on the left side, we just stay clear. Yeah, the... yeah we've never been killing exploding bugs. <laughs> one and it chased them down and exploded. In, well, exploding bugs. You in that specific bugs. case, the bug literally that got picked to explode was in the middle of three different people, and by the time they saw it, it was in the middle of three different people, it was already down to one second. So can I suggest something real quick? Sure. If we have a 15 minute enrage timer, 
and it's just a mechanic fight. What if we focus on just AoEing most of the bugs that are in the path between the two, and even no. though they respawn, just no. continue to kill them? They'd respawn way too fast. That's a waste of time. We just spent our the entire transition period killing bugs. I didn't even, like, as soon as we started any transition, um, I never got to get back on an Emperor. It just seems like with 15 minutes, it's plenty of time to kill the bugs and kill the boss. Well, so you're you're making we an assumption. Get, we can never get back on the boss, though. We'll, yeah. we'll spend literally the entire 15 minutes killing they come back spirits. very, very quickly, I've noticed. I'm just sitting in the middle of night and attacking the, the guys. I'm just watching them, and they're just coming back within, like, five seconds, ten seconds. Yeah. Can we try to group around the stairs a little bit more? And then when you're crossing across the other amp, like, cross tr a little more towards the stairs, so we're not going through the middle of the room? That we're yeah, there's no bugs on the stairs, so yeah, park on the so, stairs. So we're not dragging people or dragging bugs across the room, and if we need to kill anything, we can kill them on the stairs. If we do that, Airfix just needs to be careful with LOS in that little corner. Yeah, sorry about that. I was I was trying to get him positioned. You can literally, for the first pull, walk down to these stairs at the very, or pull them and then come to the bottom of our stairs on the very left corner of where the stairs sort of triangle in, and you can just stand there for the first teleport. I say it doesn't seem like healers are getting healing aggro, so we could probably all stay on the stairs, healers and casters. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I saw a couple of bugs bouncing between a few healers. If they're on the stairs, it probably won't be an issue. But I'm talking about the imps getting healing aggro. Um, and melee shouldn't really deal with bugs at all. Just do your transfer, like casters deal with ones that do aggro if they do. But... That's about it. What? Why is that? Well, then, they, they, then they end up, like, uh, aggroing just additional bugs the whole time. Like, casters have a hard time single-targeting them down. Why in the world is it that DBM has all these additional things that are turned off by default? That's ridiculous. Sculpt, one question for you, though. Um, a lot of the attempts that I've seen have had the people being tanked a lot closer to this side of this torch as opposed to kind of in the middle or the far side. And I think, too, I think I think it was Dex's point. Um, the melee were kind of running back and forth along the stairs because they were sort of close to this cubby. Is there a particular reason why you wanted to tank them kind of in the middle of the wall? Um, well, I thought, I thought they were supposed to be tanked kind of not in the middle, but like in the far corners, but like if over here won't, uh, be too close. They're it's supposed to be like at, right it here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Tank them like at the end of the, these front stairs basically, but yeah, yeah, the wall. That'll, that'll work. Oh, so you get to the front stairs, the less folks don't worry about it. If we're just running this line, there's no one really. Really to worry about right, well, they are. Cir right where circle is take them right there healers everyone stand on the stairs and there's no bugs around us yeah you literally just run this and line when the when the teleport cooldown goes off casters switch and single target individual bugs that are egg road or big exploding scorpions let the stupid let these guys the actual scarab just blow up move away from them the scorpions kill when they're big, you know what I mean? What's the range on their heel? Like, is it 40 yards together and they heal? They're, if they are standing one at each end of these stairs, opposite of where I am now, they will heal. But if they're standing beyond the edges of the stairs, they won't. Okay. They just got a soul stone up. That sounds good. Need one on the hisp.
Yeah, they share health bars, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. Oh, actually, we're missing some shadow prod on some people's hold on. Black Sage, Chao, y'all got a soul stone? I think Chao used his on himself. Is the suggestion that somebody did? We don't have a soul stone up. Does he need shards? Is that the problem? Do you want to get a they're shard right now? No, they're on cooldown. We didn't space them out. So everybody watch the video on this, right? I certainly that, hope so. That, that quick Very rundown? Quick. Yep. Like, the bosses share health pools. It doesn't matter which one gets more damage. Well, yeah, that's why I was saying caster switch to the bugs, because let the melee do their fucking job. Uh, Sage, if you're close together, they'll heal each other. Like, you, you need to watch these videos and catch those kind of things. Watch the video, I just gotta remember if it was 40 or 60 yards. Yeah, it's basically, it's, it's the width of the about. stairs. Yeah, it's the width of the stairs, basically. Good enough. Alright, so if everybody's ready, any objections? Do we or do we not have a soul stone up? And then does Irvix just need a shard to do his? Because he says he only has one. These bugs don't give shards. Okay, that's the problem. Yeah. And, uh, they're all on cooldown. You can DI instead. Yeah, we still have DI. We're planning to fight on the stairs, so DI just move up and do your thing, right? Or someone move up. Yeah. Not on the stairs per se, but yes, closer to them. Hespers can DI. Oh, uh, Avrith can get. The healers can stay around the stairs. Should be no line of sight with them looking down. It's the other other way, right? Just have them on the stairs. All right, everybody is ready. We're gonna go in three. Two, one, pull. If you're not healing the tank, okay, move it far. stay back here. I'm getting in position. Mind your tab target. You tape bug. Get just down there. You're good there. You're a bit Come here. Just chill right around. Oh, I'm five. Ready for the telly. How long is blue line? Oh, Hendo, move in. Oh boy. I was. Period. So, chow. Back close, I chow. So, I need to get back in the. Oh, it's good. For a little further away, so it's not so. Ah, uh, never mind. Look, you're calm. Hendo's down. Ready for the telly. We have a Brez on Hendo or no? Okay. Hi. He went straight for Hendo. Literally, he's on Hendo right now, and I don't know why. I've heard of that being a, an right. issue. Reset it. No, we're good. He's moving back. No, Hendo's dead again. Good DI. Yeah, people have talked about that bug. The bug I saw white punk. Yeah. yeah. We have too much we have too many chiefs. Not enough Indians. Alright, I DI'd since nobody was putting it on me. Oh okay. it's or is it on brain? Yeah, yeah, it's on the tilt. yeah, we got we got we got too many cooks in the kitchen, too many people on the mic in the middle of it. Too many the cooks. Issues. We had on the the left was that the emperor was just actually pulled too close to the stairs. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, on the initial pull, just come to the bottom of the stairs, and that's that. Just stay there. Okay. Don't go any further up. That'll that'll about half the room. Do we have a repair bot for after this next uh, attempt or two? Yep. I'm gonna need one. Just go around.
No, warrior, warriors don't need shadow resist. Warriors don't take any shadow damage. Really. Yes, yes about the tanks so. do. Warriors will tank pro or take probably about one to two shadow bolts if... Uh, it almost killed okay, you and you were out of range. Shadow. A shadow bolt. But yeah, but it, auto almost died. I'm just you wouldn't you wouldn't wear a shadow shadow resistance. Like... Oh, there's two things here. One, shadow resistance is not worth it for what it would mitigate because it still does a, a crap ton of damage. If I were to try to mix and match, you can't survive on balancing strike and be wearing shadow resist. So Got it. it is what it. The the trickiest thing here is the speed at which the aggro can get taken off of me. Um, it is, I basically have to be there so that he grabs aggro and then I run the hell away so that he doesn't arcane explosion the hell out of me. And then at that moment, he's got to be taken off of me pretty much the instant that he spawns. Uh, I can get hit by maybe one shadow bolt, maybe two, but I popped two defensives there just to survive because I got hit by, I think, four while he took a while to move. Yeah, and it was just tough because you were... I don't know if you were moving up the stairs, but you seemed like pretty far away. I had to run and chase you, um, and and you almost got chunked by the shadow bolt. So it was just a thought. Because um, right after the teleport, it seemed like it took um, it, it took Chal like a couple casts to get aggro. Yeah, he just picks the. That's just, the... That's just gonna happen sometimes if 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 uh, okay. you get a resist. So no. just an idea that I don't know. I maybe you're using. Um, stone scale or something but i don't know if a shadow prop would help or not so i not use here, a but... shadow one on my side for my initial pull just in case i take shadow bolt. Or one okay uh, like shadow bolt is huge damage the guy's like one yeah, of the that's damaging all. abilities right so the biggest thing though that e even with everything that happened there the biggest thing that killed us in that specific was and i saw this happen on hunk stream and this is what i had kind of talked about when somebody battle reses the tank, there's got to be a bug that yeah. the, the melee guy keeps his aggro on the previous target because he beelined for Hendo the moment Hendo was back up. Hendo was the one that was B-res, though, so it's kind of awkward. I would have expected, if anything, that Hendo would have dropped aggro, but yeah, yeah, awkward. So if we need to battle res... A paladin should probably bop so as soon are, as they're up. Are we pulling the bugs, or what's going on with the yellow bugs? They're hitting Wait. the healers again. I didn't notice really any problems with it personally on my side. When Hendo died, I had three on me. Okay. So we need to keep the raid on the stairs more. The casters and the healers can stay on the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been way down there in it, but uh, I would I would let the warrior initiate the initial pull because I'm noticing Sabata, you're getting out of position a little bit just because the caster's pulling first. He's coming towards our side, at least on that last pull, right? Yeah. If, if you initiate, our warlock has range casting abilities, so as long as he positions himself a little bit more out into the center of the room, you should be able to pick his guy up there regardless, right? So that would help smooth out the initial pull. And then if people stay on the stairs and we tank them closer to the stairs we're at, um, the bug should be less of an issue than everyone going out into the middle. Um, and it also lets the Arabics and his healers stay further back so we're not pulling bugs on that cast or tank side initially, if we do get any. And do we have a repair bot down? There's one. Hey, or I thought I saw hey, No matter what you're at, just go ahead and repair. Did somebody actually summon one or did I just see something else? I have not dropped one yet, should I? Yes. Who threw down the bot, by the way? It's Guild Bank. Okay.
Yeah, so I'd, I'd probably just shoot your guy with an arrow to start the fight, man, or whatever you got to shoot with. He'll probably uh, proximity pull if I get close enough to do that, but whatever it is, I can certainly start it and kind of pull him back. I think it'll be smoother on your side, so everyone's a little bit closer to the stairs. We don't extend so far, but whatever. Yeah, I've been looping out to try to bring him in. Okay. We're done in 15 minutes, right? Yeah, 11 o'clock yeah, is our end. I was just yeah. looking at we flasks. Should, we should cycle a little bit faster. All right. Everybody ready? No, not yet. Yes, Dead pull him back. Can you get DI? Try and hang out on the stairs. Yeah, I mean, if healers need to move up with me and keep me alive on the pole, and then once I move back, you guys can start moving back slowly to the uh, stairs here. Here, Vix, you ready? Yes. Ribbles, chess? Yeah, I'm ready. Sorry, I was saying that water. Okay. Chess, I see your man is full, so we're gonna go. Yeah, I just got it. Ribbles, you're you good? Yep. DPS, stay on the steps, guys. Go out there, you get bug at you. Stop right here, bro. We're good. That's good enough, boy. Teleport move out. out a bit more healers just so we don't all get that blizzard teleport and pop move out melee we move whenever yeah, that goes out we don't we don't have to move early i was trying to finish cold i was gonna vanish large bug I'm liking this. Teleport in five. Move out, large bug. Hey, I'm delayed. People, back up. I'm slowed. I'm slowed. Back up. Back up. Back up, Erie. All right, pull to the wall. Oh, Stab what? Dog. They're both down. You took the shadow, man. Yeah, I took two of them. It was too much. All right, reset. Bring him back reset, up. Reset. Uh, never mind. No, just reset. I, I think you need more health, Sabata. I don't know what your Garen's looking like. Hey, I know it's late stop, to pop a flask, but... Come up here and die. Got ya. Look, honestly, that was good, guys. It's just your tanks yeah, died. That sucks, man. That was a great attempt, yeah. I'm so stunned. We both got flapped, like, seconds after each other. It is what it is. Come dance with me. Yeah, on that one transition, you had him for a little while, Hendo. I was really trying to pull him off you. I don't know why he stuck to you. I'm not sure. I hit him, right? And I parried, and he just didn't like me after that. Four, okay. Three. But I, if you hit him, he messes you up even more. So I was trying not to do anything. I was just facing my back to him, really. Right. Y'all have T2 gear? That would probably help out a lot. I'm I'm saying, I think if you flasks, we would get this. Yeah. My flask ran out on, like, our second pole. I mean, like... Uh, so, what's 300 gold wait. to the guild bank, though? Yeah, I mean, well, I... Well, well, yeah, 10, minutes, yeah. 10 minutes to 11 is all my thing. I don't have any on yet. I have to go to the bank or yeah, whatever. Go. Do we want to go play with Visk once? Just to 
Let's see how it goes. No. If no. we're wiping on twin ends, we're gonna wipe on this. It's gonna heartbeat. Instance. At least two more attempts, if not we a can, kill. We can get it in, guys. So, I'm gonna be taking more damage on this go-around just because I don't have the Phil Hunter. I'm completely out of shards. And we can get one off the bug. Do you, want me to, do you want me to face pull them for you so I take the hits? No, I mean, I don't think that 240-something versus 313 is going to be that big of a difference. Hey, the Warriors are taking more damage from Shadow Bolt than the Locks are. It's true. Yeah, the Warlock damage is like gentle tickles. A lot of damage. Sab takes huge damage from that. Yeah, the Shadow Bolts are, like, wrecking my face. They're 4k a hit. Do we happen to have any shadow protection potions that we can give you? It would it would absorb one, like uh, about half of one. Really, those are best for locks in emergency situations only. So I'm pretty sure with the teleport, you can just hold them with proximity aggro till the warlock's the first person to pass. I, uh, I I literally, when he ports, I'm the first person there, and then I literally beeline it the fuck out of there, and he's just so he's can you. So can you not run away? Because when you run away, I can't heal you. Well, if you're on the stairs and I'm running to the stairs, you should be able to heal me. Well, I, you both times, however the positioning worked out, I was unable to heal you, even though I knew you had the shadow bolt incoming. I mean, what? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm. My goal has been to run back to the stairs. That's what I've been doing. So, what's the point of you running away to the stairs? So if I stay in aggro, he's going to arcane explosion, which will do 4k, knock me back, and slow me. I don't mind okay. that. I don't mind the knockback. It's not bad, actually. If you, like, get it once, it gets you out of the way and you're good to go, right? But... I I can try it. Never e either me. way, like, as healers, I, I think we, we have to prepare that you're going to take a couple shadow bolts, so I might even put a, a shield on you or renew, something like that. Uh, try and do a little bit more preventative healing, and I'm gonna just make sure, I guess, that I stick with you a bit more. And I mean, not for nothing, right? Like, if I do, um, when we come back here, I'm gonna have as the, the highest health tanky gear I possibly can. I mean, like, whenever, um, whenever the teleport's incoming, because, like, everybody knows it's coming, everybody knows when it's coming, um, the healers on the side where the um, melee guy is coming, just start blasting the tank with heals. Like, stop healing anybody else and start healing them like it's Veil until... Oh, actually, with Sabata, we've been getting through the, the melee um, okay. It's when the caster comes and the two shadow you, bolts yeah, kill him. That's what I mean. Just like okay. yeah. start cranking and ignore healing anybody else. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I think we'll be and good then, on this side. And then once, like, they eat it, then you could shift back down. Do you, do you want to have Hess maybe do Shadow? Uh protection or shadow aura maybe have a second paladin in there it doesn't it doesn't stack i just i was thinking maybe that with consecration well we've already got prayer of shadow protection so it's all right get everybody rebuffed and get another ten stacks who's got a soul sting i'll be ready in two minutes I'm really, this is like, this is the last of the night. I think we're pretty close. I think, I think we all learn the fight a lot. We learn what consumes and gear we need. Yeah, the tanks are taking a lot of damage, which we knew we were gonna, but even then. We have the mechanic, it's just a gear thing.
All right. Just waiting on mana, and then we'll go. Yeah, I don't know. Can somebody who's been DPS and who's been doing it tell me, is running along the stairs helping? I think right. so. Completely. I mean, that's there's no bugs. Yeah, no, it's been great. I'm gonna do a, yeah, being yeah. on the stairs is ranged is awesome. So your goal, if you're not in the middle of trying to kill him, is to be on the stairs. I just want to make that clear. It also negates the chance that you're going to get killed by an exploding bug. The only thing with the stairs that's a little dangerous is the blizzard can hit a lot of the raid at the same time. So we do have to spread a bit. Chest three. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Back up. If you're not healing the tank, back up. Large bug. Teleport in five. Yeah. Uh, Melee out. Bring the small bugs while you're going. Need another lock on the left side. Okay, no, he's taking down people. Oh, I see. He's in the middle of everybody. Okay, I'll pick off sales, man. Teleport in five. So, the, amps, the melee amps in the middle of the raid, it's over. Yep. Yo, Eerie Chow, y'all gotta click off Sal. That's why it's taking so long pulled off of uh, Sab and Hindo. I, I have been. I haven't yeah. been. I'm, I might have had it on once or twice. So, does it Sal bug not exist died. where Sal, you can click it off, but it doesn't actually go away? Like, you actually need to over buff it? What? Did yeah, they fix that? Never heard of that. Yeah, so that's a thing. Um, it, it was kind of squishy on the confirmation, but. In general, if you don't want somebody to have salve, you should give them like blessing a sacrifice or something. Just to overwrite it. Uh, so for the next one, I'll just macro it to my um, searing pain or searing pain spam. If, but, uh, if I'm understanding them correctly, and we could look into this, though it's not the the most important thing right now. But if I'm understanding this correctly, um, he's saying that even if you click the buff off, you're still being affected by it. So even if you made a macro to get rid of it, it still wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be gone. They just don't give lock sale because we're running back and forth anyways. We shouldn't be pulling through it. Yeah. So one thing I want to mention here that's being talked about in chat is, um, there's, there's a lot of stuff, uh, like a lot of blizzards that are going out and your job first and foremost, doesn't matter what you're doing. Your job is to get out of blizzard. You cannot soak the damage from blizzard and anything else. Are we calling it here? It's a little block. Yeah. I'm out. I would say so. Okay, we're calling it here then. We know what we need for Thursday. Max mid flasks. We got this shit. Yeah, I, I don't think there's 